What's up guys, James here from YouTube channel Spiral Design Works. Welcome back to the shop. Really glad you're here. I just wanted a shout out to everybody that's been watching my videos over the last three or four months. Um, I hit that big 1,000 subscriber mark um, a couple weeks ago. Really excited about that. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. And thank you Dave for always being there. And uh, keep coming back for more. We're really trying hard to keep uh, quality videos coming at you guys and all the different things we do here at the shop, which is a lot. We don't even cover probably a quarter of the things that we do here um, on my YouTube videos, but I'm going to try to keep, keep them coming, keep them fresh. And if you guys have any ideas for anything you want to see, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. All right. Peace out. Thank you. All right. What's up, guys? Time for James's tip of the day, month, year. I don't know, I don't do these very often. But I just painted uh, the rear end of the Cherokee and uh, one of the things I've done for a long time when you're dealing with gallons of paint and you're not gonna use it all is to take a nail and go down in the valley here where the lid seats in and just pop a nail through. Do it in a few spots. I used to do it four or five times. And what that does is any paint trapped in there, it allows it to run down back into the can. And then when you put the lid on, it actually compresses it down through the holes into the can. And it doesn't go shooting all over you or all over your work pieces or anything like that. Um, and another thing you can do is take some plastic and put that plastic over the can like this. Well, it's actually two things. You can put plastic down in there, which will help seal off the air. So if I went down in here and carefully put this down right on top of the paint and kind of move it around in there, that will seal the paint off from the air inside the can. And you kind of seal it along the edge. Like that. And then you take another piece and put it over the top and then put your lid down. keep the paint from sticking to the can and causing it like a permanent seal. If you've ever tried to open up a can of paint later on in life and you can't get it open, it's because the paint basically glued the two halves together. But putting that plastic in there, even if you go back a couple years later, it'll pop right open on you. Thanks for watching. Peace out.